Here's a video that tells how to install it's unzip copy paste but install uh, cyber engine tweaks red script um, and then a mod. So cyber engine tweaks and red script can be thought of as uh, middle layers there they sit between the game and the mod and they let the mod uh, write right to the game. So go to cyber engine tweaks uh, it's it's a good idea to save off you know create a create an arbitrary folder somewhere on your computer it's it's a good idea to save off the links that way you can you can get at them easily later but anyway so cyber engine tweaks um, come over here files manual download um, slow download drag the zip file Right drag, extract here. Okay, so if you open up, notice that there's a bin folder. Um, if you come over here, this is where it's installed. I, I use Steam, so it's on, and it's on my D drive. So you go to D, uh, Steam library, Steam common, Cyberpunk. Okay, so Cyberpunk, notice, has a bin folder. Bin to bin. Oh, if I can do it. Right drag, copy, replace. I've just now installed CET. Um, come back here. Red script, same thing. Uh, I'm going to pause. Okay, so I just I just downloaded Red script. Notice that this one is actually a 7-zip, so you'll need 7-zip installed. So right drag, 7-zip, extract here. Um, red script. So you can see uh, the base folder, engine and R6. You come back over here. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 has engine and R6. Right drag, copy, or whatever, you get it. Highlight, copy, paste. Now you have RedScript installed. Um, come back. Let's say you download a, uh, you have a mod. Same thing. If I if I were to download this, um, I'll just pause again. Okay. So I just uh, downloaded this and extracted it. So as you can see, it has a bin in R6. So we're good. But let's say that your mod didn't come with a bin in R6. Um, hold on. So like here's my development folder. Um, you know, if it if it had if it has bin and R6. Again, you have your bin, you can just right drag, copy, and you're good. But if if the mod author didn't have the proper folder structure in place, then you would have to manually place it. So the rest of this video is only that. Um, keep watching if you want. So CET, um, you go into bin, x64, plugins, cyber engine tweaks, mods, mods folder. This one, this mods folder doesn't exist um, when you first install CET. The first mod that you put on will put this mod folder. But let's say that it doesn't exist, so you would create a mods folder. And then you just create whatever folder name you want. Um, in this case, you know, like low-flying V. Create that, and then I just copy, drag. Uh, this... Uh, db.sqlite and then the log file will get generated the first time you run the game so if they have it it's not needed um, red script uh, most mods the red script files are uh, sit at the base folder um, because I have several I, I like to keep them in their own folders but anyway come down here to let me pause and just so there it is it's under uh, r6 scripts and then uh, like here I have flight common if I drug it in it would be it would be flight common so that's where you know cyber engine tweak mods go under this mods folder uh, red script mods go under this scripts folder and I have no idea where the archives go um, I've never done anything with archives, but that should do it.